the landscape is about to change. Um, so uh, we look at the uh, Saudis shopping outside as a short-term macroeconomic factor. The reality is that the Saudi market is really underserved in terms of malls and commercial real estate. Um, especially in Riyadh where you have a huge development uh, and population shift in the north of Riyadh. So you are completely underserved. Now, also, there are no mega malls that house luxury. There are malls that have luxury, but no mega malls that have luxury. So it is always uh, beneficial to have everything under one roof, let's say. So with the size of the business in Saudi Arabia growing, uh, especially in the last two, three years, um, a lot of the brands shifted their, or decentralized, let's say, their marketing efforts and marketing teams um, to Saudi Arabia um, in order for them to keep it local and really give localized content communication uh, to really engage with the Saudi customer or consumer in a way that is distinctive from an Emirati consumer or a Bahraini consumer. We know that the GCC is one but they're also made up of different population, different demographics. So, I mean, that's, maybe, okay, that's perhaps uh, another way of localizing the content, right? Saudi artists, again, art, and social media and influencers is perhaps another way of reaching, right, the target audience for these international brands. Um, I believe artists, um, share that creative sense that international brands, especially in luxury, have. Aspirational, so art is aspirational, so are luxury brands. There is definitely a um, jewelry, let's say, um, market being created, but I don't think it's only for Riyadh. I think it's Saudi Arabia, because you do have Jeddah, and Jeddah has always been um, a creative hub, let's say. A lot of fashion, a lot of creative, a lot of artists come from, uh, from Jeddah. And then you have the Eastern province. I think it's a Saudi uh, resurgence, let's say, rather than just a Riyadh one. So the takeaway is we are in a very interesting uh, time in the region. Obviously we talked and we touched a lot on Saudi today, but this is a, a MENA summit, right? We, we share different perspectives, different business challenges, but one thing's for sure is that the region itself is waking up to um, the changes that are being made on social media, whether on Snapchat, whether on TikTok, or you know, uh, all the digital, let's say, tools that we have. We're adapting as a region very, very quickly. And we have become, as a region, a force to reckon with in terms of how we consume luxury. And luxury brands, international brands, whether luxury, fashion, are now looking at the Middle East as a very important uh, region.